What's up, dogs and doggets? Welcome back to the wonderful world of Heartcraft with your boy Heart Dog 25. And look at that, 25 experience and 52 stairs, which is a backwards 25. Holy cow, weird. And we're on episode 82, which is also has a 2. And then 8 minus 3 is 5. Oh my god, amazing. Haha, <laughs> so. Uh, finished with the rocket, as you can see there. Um, I will eventually build uh, one of those like loading towers or rocket holding towers. Launch pads. Maybe launch pad is a keyword. Uh, but right now, what we're doing is we're going to build a little uh, mission control. A little Houston. A little Hark Dog Houston for Hassa. The Hark aeronautical space association what are you doing creepers oh brutal brutal just taking out his brother it's like we're gonna get up there we're gonna take out hot dog and we're gonna have the whole place to ourselves the whole place and wait to blow up oh man brother you just you literally blew up our our plans blew up in our faces. You blew up in our face. Thanks, brother. God, I knew I knew you were just you're the black sheep of the family. Unbelievable. So what we're gonna do is I have a whole bunch of stuff cooking. We're just going to uh, work on this a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I worked on it a little bit off screen, just hollowing this out, but nothing too. Uh, substantial. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how big I want to make it. I don't want to make it too huge. Because we're underneath uh, the statues. Uh, the wedding statues. So, I don't want to make it too big. Uh, but I do want to make it stand out a little bit. Uh, because it is Hassa. And crap. So, I got to go to my secret room. I started over here. Yeah, my secret burning room. Burning down the mouse. Burning down. Wait. You go up there. Wait. No, I want all of it to go up there. Transfer all. Alright. Got an itch. Alright. So. Uh, crazy. Crazy weekend. Of not much going on for me. But it was nice and relaxing after eating all that food for Thanksgiving. I hope you had a good weekend as well. It's currently Monday night. I'm watching my football picks just be terrible. My fantasy team's doing uh, not so good last weekend. I think I lost a first round bye in one of my leagues, which is pretty crummy. But what are you going to do? I'm going to have to win three games instead of two to get to the championship. And I think I could do it. I got a decent team. So we'll figure it out. But um, the Packers beat the Patriots. What a game! What a game! I was a little nervous at the end there when Devontae Adams, our receiver, dropped that pass for a, a sure touchdown. I threw my hat on the ground, and my buddy's like, geez, heart dog, you need to slow down a little bit. I'm like, well, that could have been the game. It could have been the game. Luckily, it wasn't, but it could have been the game. Um, but a really good game. Packers defense stepped up a little bit. I know Shrub Reaper is going to be pretty mad that his team lost. That's all right, Shrub. I won't rub it in too hard. Actually, I will. Go Pack! Go Pack! Go Pack! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Aaron Rodgers, better than time. Aaron Rodgers, better than time. Nah, I'm kidding. They're both really good. T-Braids. T-Braids is the man. And Rodgers is out doing I think uh, having the home field advantage at Lambo was key. Uh... If that wasn't the case, I think the pack whoop, would have lost in Foxborough. But, with that being said, the Packers still won. So, good game, good match. We're now in driver's seat to get a home field advantage. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And, let's see what else is going on. Um, just geared up for Christmas, I guess. Oh, and it's also me and my wife's three-year anniversary of the day we met tomorrow when this video comes out on December 2nd. 
We met on December 2nd, 2011. So, we're gonna go celebrate, probably go out to dinner. She's got class in the evening, but probably go out to dinner after that. Ow. It's quite a long drop. Back up we go. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty fun. That'll be a nice little, a nice little relaxing night for us. So, we're looking forward to that. I think what else is really going on? Not really too much. Um, luckily, all the big stuff is done now. I just gotta, I gotta start my Christmas shopping. I am just, I'm so lazy when it comes to Christmas shopping. Um, never, I keep telling myself I'm not very good at buying presents. When I think I'm, you know, relatively decent at buying presents. Um, but I still like to claim that I'm not, for some reason. I just don't like shopping. I still like going out and shopping. Like, Katie could spend, you know, three hours shopping. It's like, yeah, okay, three hours. She come back, well, I'm tired, and be like, yeah, I'd be tired after like two minutes of that. You know, guys like to go in, get their stuff, and get out. That's what we like to do. Like going in, not having a plan or like a set idea of what you want to buy. It's like. Yeah, that's, that's not good. We don't like that. We don't like that at all. But, as far as Christmas shopping, because I'm not good at picking stuff out, that's what I have to go do. I have to go to the store, look around, it's like, well, does somebody like this? And then I'll waffle on it for like, oh, a good half hour, I'll walk back and forth, maybe I'll find something better. I'll hold the thing in my hand, like, do I, do I want to buy this or not? I mean, it's a big ordeal for me, unfortunately. Um... I wish it was easier. I wish I could make it easier on myself. I do procrastinate, even though I did get my wife's gift a long time ago. Um, but that was just by pure happenstance. I was able to procure that at an early time, which was nice for sure. Um, so hopefully she'll be happy and she'll like it. I wanted to give her a hint on what it was, but she didn't want a hint. So, so she's going to not know what it is. And I'm not going to give you guys a hint either because she might watch this video. <laughs> um, so, that'll be cool. Christmas, Christmas shopping, yay. Um, I guess we can go to a uh, question. I only had one question over the previous couple heart crafts and a lot of happy Thanksgivings. Uh, definitely had a good Thanksgiving, uh, as you guys heard in the, in the heart craft on Saturday. Uh, I am still... Uh, trying to work off calories from that probably will for the next month or so But it's worth it. You know what I mean? It's just All that food all that football is worth it. That's why it's the best holiday of the year in my opinion Yes, sir So let's get on to the question. We got one from Bruticus wins. He asked this one on the previous heart heart craft uh, have I seen the new Jurassic Park trailer? And I did not. I saw that it was out. But then I went and watched it. And frankly, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a cross between Jurassic Park and Deep Blue Sea. It's like now they created this super smart dinosaur that's going to be able to think for itself. Like the, like the super smart sharks in that movie. And I'm just like... Uh, cause it started off with a premise cool. Like, there's like a sea world aspect, like, uh, these things popping out of the ground and, um, they're popping out of the water and grabbing sharks, like they're feeding sharks to the huge dinosaurs, the huge, uh, I don't know if it's, a, I, I can't remember the, the scientific name for the, the water dwelling ones, or the names of them, but I was like, alright, well that's pretty cool, you know. And then it just uh, kind of went downhill from there. Because um, then they had to deal with this super smart dinosaur. And it's like hunting. And uh, scientists are like, oh god, what have we done? Sort of thing. And we learned more about genetics in the last you know, 100 years than we did in the previous. Or last 10 years than we did in the previous 100. Blah, blah. And they explain all that stuff. And try to be mad scientists. And it's just like. Ah, man. I had so much hope for this movie. Uh, I'll probably watch it. I probably won't go to the theater to watch it. This got Jurassic Park 3. It was really... Meh. 
not very good. Uh, even though they brought back Sam Neill. Uh, I feel like this one is not going to be as good because they're bringing this like super smart dinosaur and it's oh my god this dinosaur is going to outsmart us. How is a dinosaur going to outsmart us? The only way it's going to outsmart us is like it creates a nuclear bomb and like destroys us. You know it's like it's a dinosaur it eats it has no concept of uh like it has no concept of you know shooting something it just eats it's an eater it's a meat eater that'd be funny if they <laughs> if they're like oh my god we created the most vicious plant eater alive this thing is going to decimate the plant population of the world in three years we won't have any plants all the vegans will die at first <laughs> or something like that um I'd have been more intrigued by that, I think. It was just, I don't know, it just, it wasn't, it just, it was lacking. It was, it was lacking. So, but, I mean, since it's Jurassic Park, um, I will probably watch it. I, I really like the the first Jurassic Park. Uh, my mom hated it. She thought it was a scary movie. <laughs> and I was scared her with it. Um, but, uh, you know, this movie, it just, it didn't seem like it's going to hold water to tell you the truth it's not gonna hold my attention so we'll see hopefully I'm wrong I mean I could be wrong I probably am wrong but just from a, a two-minute trailer that's kind of what I gathered so so Bruticus leave your uh, opinion in the comments below for me see what you think um, I don't want to be a cynic about it but like I said it just yeah, it just looks eh. it just looks meh uh, I was expecting something something else but it is what it is so I mean it, they can make it work it's just the preview they give you a snippet a general concept of the theme what's going on it might be completely different uh, when it comes out it might have a lot more uh, you know well-rounded storytelling of it yeah, I'm not sure we're, we're definitely gonna find out so uh, wait oh I don't want the I don't want that so let's uh, see if we can mosey up to the top here, and uh, you know, let's go this way. Let's make ourselves the stairs out of here. It's our secret exit. Hmm. I, I think I'll put a top of a NASA building right here or something, like a big spire. I mean, look at it. We're getting... I'm building... Like, the main layer is just over there. So, I'm getting really close. Um, and this area looks really cool, though. Really, really cool. I knew it when I... I think it was episode 25. My favorite number, of course. When I found this area. Uh, when I went on my adventure from the island. I can't really recall, but I think that's when it was. Um, and it would make sense that this is definitely my favorite area in the game. Let's see here. Should I add another layer? I think that's good. That's good, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Definitely going to add some, a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, and I'm seriously contemplating, um, when a new Heartcraft starts, whenever that will be, I'm seriously contemplating put getting the PC version, uh, just because there's so much more you could do with it. Like right now, I'm gonna try and put like electronics in here for NASA and for all that stuff, and really, there's not much that you can do that even looks like that. So, um, and there's just there's so many different ways to go in the PC version. It's it might be like the only option. Uh, for the next Heartcraft. I'll definitely keep this Heartcraft and keep building on it and you know come back into the world of it. Hey, hey! Bra! Bra! Get out of here! Oh my gosh. How dare you, son? Get out! Get out of here! i bring this over. Let's see if we can fill up this wall here a little bit. Mm -hmm -hmm. Don't! I just wasted one. 
Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, let's put that in there. Cool. Little X, 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 X. All right, nice. So I think this is what it's generally gonna be. It'll be just this big. Uh, we'll have the main section over here. Countdown. Two, three, one, six, two and a half. Ignition. We have ignition. And I'll head straight up towards the... See that star right... Right there. That one in my crosshairs. Yeah. That's our destination. And I'm going to say to infinity and, as, and beyond. Is that what Buzz Lightyear says? To infinity and beyond. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that star is like an infinite... Do I see like four creepers here? Oh my gosh. We're going to do some quick battle in here just for the fun of it. And then we'll end the episode. Oh, it's a Frenderman. Look at this. Look at this. Ah. Well, there goes my nice flat area. You bum. Dang it. I didn't think I was... I didn't want them all to explode. I wanted one to explode to kill the rest of them. Uh, oh, well. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Skeleton shooting the creeper. Skeletons all, can be on your side sometimes. Sometimes the skeletons are on our side. Do -be -do -be -do. I know I'm gonna have another creeper come up behind me right now and just blow all my flatness work here into a big hole once again. All right, come on. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Excellent. Well, I think we'll finish this flatness, the flattening off here, and call her good for number eighty-two. Yeah. Still getting so close to 100. And gonna have to start uh, working on that other challenge again and iron out the kinks, which I hopefully will be able to do this weekend. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it, this weekend may be busy too. We shall see. There we go. Looks a little bit better. Here, I'll fill that in too. Yeah, a little secret base here. We'll cover this up a little bit. Don't want anybody to know there's a big... Oh yeah, there we go. Don't anybody know there's something down there. Even though they'll be able to see it from this side. Cool. Cool, alright. Well, remember to like, remember to comment and subscribe. Leave your questions for me for the next Heartcraft. I'll be happy to answer all your questions uh, that you have. There was only one this one, but that's all right. There's always plenty of stuff to talk about. Uh, and you guys have yourself a wonderful Tuesday, and we will see you next time in the world of Heartcraft. Take care, everybody.